Hello everyone, welcome back to English class and with me, Mustafa. Hmm, what are we going to learn today? Yeah, as you can see on the title, we are going to learn about the position of place. Yeah, before we start our discussion, as usual, I'm going to show you our today's book. First, students are able to know the kinds of the position especially in place. So, we are going to know about what the position of place is and then kinds of them. And then second one, students are able to differentiate the function of them one by one. And third, the students are able to apply, apply them in a sentence. So, after you know the function, you know kinds of them, and then you ask, we are going to learn or we are going to practice how to apply them in a sentence and how to use it in our daily conversation. Okay? Let's get started. Yeah. I have a video that I think that is important to you to what is it to get to know more about the function of the position of place in our daily conversation enjoy the video hello i'm jenny and this is my house it's small but it's very nice let me tell you what it is like there is a chimney, a roof, a front door. There are windows too. What is my house like inside? Wow, it's so nice! Hey Jenny! Hi Sarah! What a lovely house you have! Oh, thanks! How many floors are there? There are two floors, the ground floor and the first floor. Oh, and there is the attic too. What is there on the ground floor? On the ground floor there is the kitchen and the living room that's downstairs. On the second floor there are two bedrooms and a bathroom that's upstairs. Where is your bedroom? It's in the attic. I love it. Is there a garage in your house? Yes, there is. But let's go inside. Let me show you my room. Okay. There's a bunk bed and the desk. I like the computer on the desk. And there's a bookcase between the bunk bed and the desk. Wow. There is also a small window behind the bunk bed and the chair near the desk. What is your house like? Have you got a house or a flat? Have you got a garden? What is your room like? Click on the link above to make your house paper model. Have fun! the video? Yeah, the video is about Bella that described her house, especially her room. When Bella describes her room, Bella shows us that there are some important parts or important things that uh, she told. Yeah, especially Bella's things in the bedroom. Yeah. By watching this video, we are going to discuss the function and then the definitions about the position. What is preposition? The position is a grammatical term used to express the relationship of the noun or pronoun with the rest of the sentence. For example, on the table, in the sky, across the river, with a hammer, in the garden, 
and etc. or another. Okay, so that is about uh, the definitions of position. And now I have or I'll show you three functions of preposition or use of preposition especially as preposition of place. First, preposition express relations of nouns or pronouns to the rest of the sentence as I told you before. Second, preposition as an object complement and third one preposition as an adjective complement. So, in another word, we can say that by using preposition of place, we know the position of the place that we are going to or that we mention. That is the function of the main function of the position of place. Here are some preposition of place that you can see. First, I have it. You can see that is a dog is in the box. Yeah. And the second one, on. And then that is the example of the position. A man is sitting on the chair. On. Whenever that is on the surface of something. Okay. And the third one, under. A cat is under table. When you put or when you see something, uh, as the condition is like cat on the picture, so that is under. And then the four, no, sorry, the third one, um, over. A lamp jumps over the flowers. Yeah, here is the picture. You can see the lamp jumps over the flowers. And that's called the over for the position of legs. Next, we have next to. A boy stands next to the tree. Here is the position. Okay, tree and then next to it is a boy. And next, we have it with. There is a dog between the chairs. Two things and then our focus is in the middle, the dog. Okay, and next, we have below. The, there is a bird below the tree. There is the position. Next, we have a cross from. A woman sits across her husband. There is the position that you can see on the picture. So, the picture helps you to get to know about the exact uh, function or uh, the position of the position itself. And next, we have above. Above the fly is flying above the flowers. Here is the position. And next, behind. The ball is behind a box. Here is a little ball that is behind a box. And near, there is a ball near the box. And the last, we have in front of. The ball is in front of a box. Yeah, after that definition, let's try to practice by using this illustration. I have two pictures. A dog with a table, table with a book. For the first picture, where is the dog? It is under the table. It is under the table. Okay, here is the position. And then the second one. Where do you put your book? Here is the position. You can see on the picture. It is on the table. Okay. So, for asking the position of something, you may use this kinds of question. Where is the dog? Where do you put your book? Yeah. Okay. Next. Yeah. Let's try. I have already provided five pictures. Okay. It is time to you to try to answer. Okay. Try to answer the position of 
an object that you can see on the picture. The first one. Where is the dog? Where is the dog? Okay, my answer. Yeah, it is in the car. Good. Second, a car with the woman. Where is the woman? Where is the woman? Yeah, he is. And third one, we have a wolf and a tree. Where is the wolf? Where is the wolf? It is behind a tree. It is behind a tree. Next, we have a raccoon and a ball. Where is the raccoon? Where is the raccoon? Come on, try to answer. Yeah, the raccoon is above the ball. The raccoon is above the ball. And last, I have two trees and a rabbit. Where is the rabbit? Where is the rabbit? Come on, your answer. Yeah, a rabbit is between the trees. A rabbit between the trees. Okay, good job. You have proud to answer uh, five of them. And now, I have provided five questions. Yeah. You need to look around your position now. Okay, you need to look around your position. What kind of things that you have on the run of your position and try to answer five questions. One, where is your smartphone? Where is your smartphone? One. Okay, and the second question. Where are your pants? Where are your pants? Third, where do you see it? Where do you see it? Next, where do you put your wallet? Where do you put your wallet? Okay, and last, where is your television? Where is your television? Okay, that's good. So, at this discussion, we have discussed about kinds of position, especially for places. Yeah, there are some um, preposition of place that we have discussed, like in, on, under, above, across, and then for near, and then next to and the other one yeah hopefully after uh, watching this discussion you are able to apply them in a sentence and then you are able to use it in your daily conversation yeah that's all of our discussion for today thank you and see you